All right, today we take a look at the Godox SA-17 Projector Kit. So this one in particular came with a little USB light, which is kind of cool. And it came with a Gobo set. So this is the Godox SA-09001. So they're all going to have kind of a marking like that. And the different sets are going to have different Gobos in them. We can see that they all have this nice blue plastic material on top. So to help protect them, which is great. And there is quite a variety of different shapes with this one. So this is the 009. These are the ones that you get. And you just peel this blue material off. So then this is the kit that we're actually looking for. So this is the Godox SA-17. So you can see it has a diffusion material on the front. So that's going to essentially take all the light and make it even so that when it goes through the lens, you're not gonna have any weird distortion. You can see how it's gonna clamp in, so it's gonna just fit inside these teeth. So this is where a lot of the heat is gonna be concentrated because you're gonna be putting the LED light right here on the back, and those have a tendency to produce a lot of heat. The more efficient it is, the less heat's gonna produce, but all LED bow and mount lights are gonna produce a lot of heat. So you gotta have these vents that's gonna help the heat to radiate, but you also gotta be careful whenever you touch this thing because it could get pretty darn hot. Now there is this liner on the inside. I have heard of people taking that out depending on whether or not their light will fit. I don't think that's going to be a problem for mine. Let's go ahead and check that out. So I'm just going to use a way light. This is a 60 watt bi-color LED light. Yep, clicks in no problem. And then this is the projector lens. Okay, that's pretty cool. So surprisingly, this thing feels better than I was expecting. I mean, I know this thing was going to at least feel okay, but it feels actually pretty darn good. So we got that nice, beautiful lens there in the back. So that's going to help to focus the light down to the front element. And this is one that you focus. So you just loosen this up and then you just pull this lens in and out to focus it. You also notice this slot right here. So this is just spring latch. And that is gonna be where you put in your gobos or whatever attachments that you wanna put in. So that's gonna go between these lenses. So that means that all the shaping is gonna occur inside this projector mount. I just grab this thing and kind of pull it back and it slips off to the side. I'm gonna drop the lens and I wanna put it in orientation where I can get to this easily. So it just slides in and flip that back around. There we go. Now from this point, you can just go ahead and start projecting light onto your subject. But one of the main selling points of this is that you can get all of these kinds of different attachments for it. So I got a scrim set, a framing shutter, iris diaphragm, and a gobo holder. So this is the SA05 scrim set. Now what this does, so you can see we got different levels of screen on here and I can put my finger through the top. So what this is going to allow me to do is get different levels of shade. So if I want to, I can make the top bright, the bottom dark, or flip it around, do all kinds of weird different things. So this set has this one, and it has four more. So depending on what you want to do, if you just want to make the whole image a little darker, you can use this one or this one. And then we have different levels of light and dark. This is the SA-10 Gobo holder. You can see there's not a heck of a lot to it. All it really is, just a threaded ring, so you can take your Gobo and set it inside and get it the orientation that you want. And then we can feed that right into the projector. If we need to, we can move it around a little bit. Okay, whatever we need to with that. This is the SA06 Iris Diaphragm. So you can see it comes with its own holder. So you're gonna have to put this inside of a holder. And you can just, wow, that moves really nicely. This is a super smooth thing, but what you can notice is that the center is a circle. So unlike the, uh, the ones where you just like stick in a paddle, this is going to maintain that perfect circle and then you can get basically the exact diameter of circle that you want on your subject. So that way you don't have to worry about moving the, the light in and out. You can just take this thing, slide that to where you need it, focus or defocus, and then you're there. So this is super nice. This is a very high quality feeling iris. Closes down to a nice little pinch and then opens all the way up. And this fits right inside of the projector. And from there, you can move it in and out. Very cool. This is the SA07 framing shutter. See, we got four of them in there, and they go right into the projector. And then you can move these things around, and you can get real creative with the way that this is gonna be actually putting out that light. So if you wanna make like a, a thin uh, stripe, you can do that with this, whatever you wanna do with these. So lots of options for accessories, and that's not even all of them. That's just a, a small portion. There we go. So I finally broke down and mounted it. And there is some of the effect. Now, just kind of blasting the area here, but what I can do, stick this guy in. There we go. 
go and close that down. That's part of a lot of just trial and error of getting everything the way that you like it. There you go. Now I can defocus the light. Here you can kind of see what I'm going for. So you can see this is without the light. And if I turn on that projector, that's with it. So it makes quite a significant difference. And that's just 5%. So a 60 watt light is more than enough. All right, so here is with the light. Here's the light off. Put the gobo in. There we go. And we can focus this. Get some weird kind of effects on there. Or defocus it a little bit and just get kind of a uh, almost like a windswept look to it. So these gobos can be quite a lot of fun. All right, so the light's off. I'm going to turn the light on and I've got the iris set to the tiniest spot. So I'll just turn this up to kind of amplify it. You can see that dot on there. I kind of move it around a little bit. So I can open the iris up a little. There we go. And then defocus it. And turn the brightness down a little bit. There we go. So that looks a lot better. So this is with the light off. Here's with the light on. Not bad. So I can take these and I can just slide them in. And if I go in from the right, it's actually going to darken the left. If I go in from the left, it'll actually darken the right. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can cover down just to the logo. So I'm going to insert this from the bottom. There we go. So now we've got a more concentrated light right on the logo. And then from there, you can defocus. And see how that makes it look. So now I'm going to turn it off and back on. There we go. Pretty cool. And so with this, I'm gonna to try to darken up the top a little bit. So I'm gonna to to insert this from the bottom because it gets, you know, it gets flipped. And so I'm gonna want it like this to darken the top. Let's focus this so you can kind of see the screen and you can see exactly what it's doing. So you can see how it's just a bit darker there right at that line. So it's gonna make this part of the honey a little bit darker. And then I can defocus it. There we go. So that's with the light off, and that's with the light on. Pretty cool. So yeah, if you're into product photography or you know even just like playing around, there is a lot of creative potential in this thing. So I am really happy that I got it.